Welcome to the mix, and we start with a bizarre story. This one coming out of Iowa. Okay, so you know how you can go on Craigslist and you can find just about anything, Pretty anything much. you're looking you for. Bet. An Iowa man decided to sell an antique coffin on Craigslist, and okay. it was a very succinct ad. It said, Oak Coffin on Stand. Well, he sold it, uh, and turns out there was a full skeleton inside. He, did he know this when he sold it? Yes, he did. My goodness gracious. There, there's the coffin. He, it was for the bargain price of $12,000. Um, anyway, he wanted to pay property taxes on a hall that belongs to a now-defunct chapter of Independent Order of Odd Fellows, which basically helps others with personal and social development. It's kind of like an old English thing. Um, so he, he sold it. And it said it's been sitting there for years, as long as I can remember. It was apparently donated to the order by a doctor, the, the coffin and the remains. Um, and Iowa officials got a hold of it, said you can't do this. But here's what I find even more odd than selling a coffin with remains in it. There's apparently a law in Iowa that without proper identification papers, human remains can't legally be sold. So you, the guy's in trouble? No, I'm. what I'm saying is you can sell human remains if there's proper identification attached to them. Good point. I see your point. I don't think he's in trouble. It doesn't say uh, that here anyway in the article that we've been able to dig up on this very interesting story. Anyway, odd on all ends of you They have me. a bone to pick with that story. That must be it. Uh, <laughs> listen to this one. You know all your life your mom said, stop watching TV. It's mm -hmm. going to turn your brain to mush when you were a little kid. Mm -hmm. Turns out there's a new research study that says TV is actually making kids smart. Or, uh, really? this, yeah, new study suggests the opposite is true and that kids who are glued to TV for a few hours a day outperform classmates who watch a lot oh, less I TV. I don't know what to do. Yeah, this is a study out of London and the author of the study says it's contrary to the expectations that they thought but the educational value of children's television has been underestimated. It might expose kids to more vocabulary words and such. And this is a pretty hmm. comprehensive study. Uh, 11,000 British seven-year-olds tracked since birth. Wow. The ones who watched a lot of TV were smarter. See, all the books say you, to eat. you don't put your kids in front of the television because you forget about them because you're busy doing all the housework, but you need to interact with them if you're watching television. I don't know what to do with that one. Poor Devin, more TV time for you, I, I tell guess. you, we both watched a ton of TV. Oh, it raised us. Look yeah. at us. Yeah, we well, did that pretty explains well. it. <laughs> there you go. Really quickly, 30 minutes, 30 seconds to tell you this. So you know the white suit that Colonel Sanders from KFC used to of wear? Of course. It went up for auction. The real one went up for auction, including the little black uh, bow tie and all. Well, the head of KFC in Japan bought it for 21 dollars thousand dollars. Check he, it out. He wasn't done. Once he bought it, he had to try it on, took a picture. He said he's going to put awesome. it on display over in Japan. He also bought uh, the Colonel's Kentucky driver's license, the real one, for just under two thousand dollars. I know the Japanese have a fascination with Colonel Sanders. Love it's him. the truth. Love him. <laughs>